Damian Warner captures the bronze medal in the fraternity of decathlon. When Damian Warner received his bronze medal in Rio, he felt conflicted. He felt somewhat lucky to finish third, but at the same time, discouraged. Damien felt he should have, could have won. After the Olympics, I kind of just gave myself a month to just not even think about track and field. Started to write some things down, what I think I needed to do uh, over the next four years uh, leading into Tokyo. Yeah, I kind of came to the conclusion that I needed to change. What he felt he needed to change is where he trained. He needed to leave the familiarity of his hometown of London, Ontario behind and say goodbye to his longtime coaches, high school teachers Dennis Nielsen and Gar Leeshin. Telling them was the hardest thing he's ever had to do. Uh, after school had finished and I just pulled up in the car and I was just like, man, just started crying, you know? I was just really scared that when I talked to them that I was gonna lose them as people, like lose them as friends and family because that's what they became to me, so. I was really happy when I went in there to, to talk to them and they all kind of just said, just know that we're behind you 100% whatever you choose. So this winter, Damien packed up and moved to Calgary to work with veteran multi-sport coach, Les Romantic. A very good friend of mine told me that this is a no-win situation for me. Because if he does well, he's already done well. If he does poor, that's me. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm kind of in a, between a rock and a hard place. But it's okay, I, I don't mind it. The 27-year-old admits leaving his comfort zone was scary. It's a little different than London. Speed traps everywhere, so you gotta be careful with that. I think that I had a look in the mirror at the end of the day, and uh, one of the reasons why I, I made the move this past summer to go from London to Calgary is because I thought that I wasn't as mature as I needed to be as an athlete. It's kind of a tough pill to swallow and a tough thing to realize, but I just felt like as a person I needed to grow. Damien hasn't missed a beat this season. He won Goitzes, one of the most prestigious decathlons for a third time. Now, he has a chance to see if all those changes will push him to the place where he's never been before, on top of the World Championship podium. For me this season, uh, one of the most important things was to get a little bit more comfortable with that whole transition. Uh, but at the same time, my mindset since I've started this sport is I want to win. I'm not, I'm not here to be a spectator. I'm not here to uh, just have fun. So uh, I'd be lying if I said that my goal wasn't to win at, in London.